Hello, welcome to UK Barn Finds. My name's Elton. Usually I've got Claire with me, as you know, but she said something about school runs and kids today. I'm a hundred odd miles away, so she's at home. I've replaced her with a tripod, and if I get a pair of socks for Christmas, it may stay that way. I've also got a different wingman with me today. I've got um, Joe turning up soon. Never worked with Joe, but he seems really professional. He's about 10 minutes away, so I need to crack on. So why have I driven? 100 odd miles in the middle of winter. Tell you why. There's a car in here which I'm going to reveal to you any second now. And we've come to not only show you this car, give you a little bit of the story, take you around it, show you it being dragged out, but get this, we've bought this and we're going to follow a little bit of a journey on this one as well because some of you are going to like this. Look what we've got here. I'm not going to show you yet. It's another Austin A30. And this one's been in here for around about 40 years. Let's have a little look. Joe's already pulled up. I can see his truck out the corner of my eye. So it's gonna be a very quick look around. You'll hear him in the background. Like I say, um, I've driven 100 odd miles. I'm in Surrey. I believe that's a Surrey number. I've just heard a bit of a background about this car, a bit of a story about how it came to be here, how it came into the ownership of the previous owner. And uh, apparently it was crashed at the side of a road, gone into a field, I think. And the person who owned it and had crashed it didn't know how to get it out of there and it was gonna cost them so much money, they sold it, basically. You know, we're talking 40, 50 years ago for two pounds. Given the logbook, sold. The person who bought it took the fence down the other side of the field and drove home in it. And I love stories like that. But what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go and quickly say hello to Joe, um, and then I'm gonna pop back in, we'll have a quick look around here, and we'll watch the man at work and see how he gets on removing this car. I've noticed already there's a couple of flat tires. I'm sure we can sort those out. Hopefully they'll hold air long enough. And we'll have her on the back of a trailer in no time. Okay, Joe's here, so it's gonna be a very quick look around and we're gonna have a proper look when we get back tomorrow because the fun of this one is going to be Joe pulling it out of here but I thought I'd whiz a camera around I've just stuck a light in there thank you to whoever it was in a previous video suggested getting those lights they've actually been one of the best things I've bought but what I like about this already there are some bits and pieces in there that I've noticed um, some spares but it's this radio it's just so cool I did see it when I peered in through the gloom before. Space is very, very tight. We'll have a quick look under the bonnet and then I'm just going to let Joe get on. So look, there's the, um, the light I bought. So a quick look under there. Then we'll get it out. And like I say, it's, um, you can see where it is. I'm walking around the side of it now, getting filthy again. There we are, your usual. No battery, which is good, because that possibly could have done more damage than good. There's an air horn under there. Somebody was a girl racer, look. The uh, water pump, or thermostat housing is quite um, crusty. But yeah, everything seems to be there. A bit like our other one, little PPW. Um, yeah. I can't wait to get this back home now and have a look. Look, we've got the heater in there. Actually got the, um, the ducting there, which is quite hard to get hold of, I'm told. So that's really good. Right, let's pop back out and get this car out of here. We'll have a proper look. So Joe's here. I don't want to hold him up. So we're going to crack on. I've just stuck a mic on him. I literally met the guy about two minutes ago. Thank <laughs> you for getting here on time, mate. Really appreciate it. No problem yet. You have been recommended by just about everyone in east coast retros <laughs> plus even when you got the job someone in the trade said to me ah oh, he'll do you a good job that man yep. so no pressure all right no pressure no you haven't seen the car yet let's have a quick look haven't. mate and just see if you think it's going to be as straightforward as i'm hoping it will be or if there are any issues no wind in the tires no no i think that's long gone that How long do you say it's been sat? 
40, 45 years easy, we're told now. Just, just a few then. Yeah, just a few. Longer yeah. than you've been on the planet, mate, I reckon. Definitely, yeah. <laughs> Quite a lot longer. <laughs> I wish I could say the same. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. You ready? that's going to be all right? Looks doable, mate, yeah. Cool. Well, I'm going to whack the mic off you because I don't want to put you under any other pressure. Let you crack on and do your job and I'm going to film you if that's all right. No problem. Cool, thank you. So he's had a quick look. Obviously there's no air in the uh, tyres. I do have a little compressor here. He's got one on board as well, but I can always give a hand. So if I leave you guys, that's why, okay? I'll be helping him pump up some tyres. Jake, the dog. He's the foreman today, aren't you, mate? I wish I'd left a mic on Joe now because he's the first to have a look underneath. I'll pick, I'll pick his brains in a minute. It's a glamorous job, this car transportation business. <laughs> You're about to get dogged as well. <laughs> Hello, mate. Is this going to be your new kennel? Is it? Is this going to be your new kennel? No. Bet you're a nice indoor doggy like mine. That might paint a picture of what it's going to be like underneath. Awesome. That is what's left of a silencer box. Lovely, that was the same on my other one. So. <laughs> that's part of the exhaust. Oh, well, that's <laughs> so I haven't got a mic on Joe at the moment, but in case you missed that, that's the um, a bit of the uh, exhaust silencer, which are disintegrated. That's normal, they trap water in them, so we kind of expect that. Look at the uh, the dirt on that. This isn't one of those barn finds you see where they've uh, kept their pride and joy in a garage and just thrown a piece of carpet over it 10 minutes before we got here. This is a proper barn find. So I'm in here at the moment. I'm not sure what the next move is. Joe's just been looking for something to uh, try and free the wheels off with. And try a bit of air too. So what I'm gonna do you don't need to see this, I've got my trusty little Makita down here. I'll try and get a bit of air in there and we'll see if we can um, help it roll a little bit more. Right. So the idea now is try and get the car back a little bit so that we can have a look at these wheels properly. It's very, very tight in there. See if we can get a little bit of air. They might even free up as soon as he starts pulling. It's an Austin A30, it'll go. Probably fire up and drive it home now. <laughs> yeah. I'm the barn fine whisperer. <laughs> so here we are. Daylight at last for the baby Austin. I've got you on a tripod. Looking from the back of the truck there just so that I can have a pair of hands free in case I need to help at all. What's the verdict? Let's have a look. Good news is, wheels are now turning all four. Aha. What I'm going to do, I'm going to just stick this down here a sec. Stick that on. Yeah? 
Yeah, yeah. I'm just going to stick a mic on you, Joe, because I keep asking you questions and I remember I took the mic off you, so it's all right. The missus will go nuts at me. Yeah. You didn't hear that, Claire, did you? <laughs> so uh, she'll hear all of this. <laughs> she'll tell me off for not putting a mic on someone. I'm going to chat to Joe as he's doing that. So you're, you're saying that's going up then? Yep, that's took some air, that one. Awesome. All Wonder. four wheels are now rolling? They are, yeah. We just have a look at the front. Mind out, Jake. <laughs> Can you throw Jake into the bargain? <laughs> Can we take him home? <laughs> That's amazing. They've got tubes, didn't they? So back then. Uh, I don't know. I think so, because my ones at home are like this, and they're still holding air. I've got a 1954 one. Yeah. Similar condition. I should have to give it a little bit of steering input <laughs> as well. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. So what Joe's doing now is just dragging it back a little bit more. He'll get some air into the front tyres next. Joe seemed quite um, impressed at the fact that it's holding here. Very. <laughs> Some uh, rope underneath. I reckon that was towed into position. We've got a bit of steering lock. In the front there. Oh, I did see what looked to be something like a track rod end or something in the back of the car, in the boot, so I don't know whether that's that. You all right there, mate? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's lovely when people are involved as well. It shows that we all care about cars and it's nice. It's, um, I'm trying to look why we're a bit on the um, wonk with this one. There was like a track rod or something in the, the boot. I and think I'm, it's all right. It's just it's, I've turned the steering a little bit, so... This one's right round. All oh, right, yeah, no, yeah, you're all right. Sorry, mate. Huh. I'll, uh, that all looks to be working. Steering as well, look. Look at that. There was me worrying. There was Ninja Joe over there doing a bit of steerage on the sly. So, obviously, got to try and get it as central as possible. It's quite a narrow little car and these trucks tend not to have a centre plate because it keeps the weight down. Is it all about the weight, the not having no plate in the middle, Joe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. mainly, yeah. Makes a difference, doesn't it? It does, yeah. yeah. Joe doesn't live a million miles from me and we have a a Vosa depot up the road, don't we, mate? We do, yeah. <laughs> so, I'm sure we keep legit anyway, but you're more likely to get a tug when you live next door to one of those. Which is why I'm not here with a seven and a half tonner. Because this is work. Oh, he's had his wheat a bit. <laughs> what a beautiful looking car, it really is. Starting, I've noticed little differences already. Obviously, this one's had indicators fitted at some point. The light on the front there, which could be what's missing off our one. I assumed it was another sort of AA stroke RAC, but could have been a light. Um, yeah, I can't wait now to get back. It's going to be dark when I get back, so I'll probably be in the morning, show Claire this one, have a good look round and um, see what we've got here. Joe! <laughs> Hello. That was quite easy, wasn't it? That was not as bad as some, yes. Yeah. For a car that sat 
Well, we reckon 45-ish years, and that's probably being generous. Yeah. Um, it just proved again that these little Austins, they were built well, and if they're stored okay, I mean, that wasn't exactly stored in a um, heated garage, was it? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> but just if they're stored, stored okay, they'll, they'll move, and um, I'll have a look at the engine when I get back, see if that's seized up like the other one was. Maybe get a run in. Happy days. Back to sunny Suffolk now, didn't you? Exciting. Yes. <laughs> It's Christmas week, love. <laughs> it is. What should we be doing? Well, we should be Christmas shopping, Elton, but we're not, are we? No, we haven't got a single decoration up. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't bought a single present. Um, and the reason is these things. Yeah. Shall we have a look at this one in a cold light of day? You saw it briefly when I brought it home with Joe. Yes. You love these things. Off I camera do. as we're setting up. <laughs> Typically, Claire's telling me, I think I'm an Austin girl now. I love these things. I'm like, oh no, another car she's fallen in love with. But mm. who wouldn't want a girl like that, eh? Come on. <laughs> um, so, I've dragged you up here today, this is my fault, because I'm itching to get started <laughs> on this car. I've got my little friends in the club now, I've been talking to them about this, and you can see little paw prints all over it where I keep sneaking up here to take photos. I've been telling him off though, because I didn't want him to come up here and do stuff until we'd had a chance no. to have a look at it all together. No, but when I was here with Joe, Yes. When he dropped it off and you went in because it was cold. It was cold. And it was dark. <laughs> yes. Joe is a complete car nut as well. Yeah. And we did have a little look. And so before you look inside and do your impression, mm. I want to show you and everyone out there something special. Oh. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, come on, have a look. Um, firstly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> But that's not what I'm here to show you. Right, go on then. I've actually got something positive. Yeah. And I've already ordered a new um, thermostat housing and right. kit and thermostat and everything. Watch this. I'm got, I've nicked the starter, mo starter motor, starter handle from PPW. Because I don't know if this one's got one anywhere. You're going to have to bear with me as I stick my head in the way, Claire. Because I'm not a natural at this. Um, get in there now. Watch this. I don't know if you'll see much. Try maybe on the fan there, Claire. Okay. What's happening? Well, the engine's turning, so it's not seized. <laughs> this one is not seized. Yeah. Now, we need to do as much research as we can. There's only so much you can find out. But we were told it's been in a, that shed stroke barn for 40, 45 years. There's absolutely no reason to doubt that because that was, you know, the people who lived there, that was their friend's car. Um, but that, I think that is incredible. I mean, yeah, we found that out- Yeah, it is incredible. Well, you know, with PPW, apart from the engine, everything else kind of twisted and turned fine, yes. didn't it? So yeah. I'm hopeful that once I go through this, there'll be a good chance that in the next video, We'll condense it from the ones we don't know this one because we don't want to milk the A30 thing. So the next one, I reckon, if people want it, we'll do the wash because I can't touch it at the moment. Look, I've literally, this is every <laughs> single... This, the evidence when I come in from the workshop is that... Um, it's a giveaway, it isn't is it? I know night. what you've been up to. I'd like to do the next video, a wash, and to try and get it started, if that's all right with well, like you. an all-in-one? Yeah, would you like that? Yeah, I would, if we can manage it. I'll give it a go, because I, I yeah. enjoyed it with that one. So anyway, I'll let you have a look now. I'll put the starting handle back in PPW, because I want to keep everything in her. Let's have a look in here, then. So, there's a bit of newspaper there. Yeah, there is. There's a, 
copy of uh, some newspaper that I'm not going to mention. <laughs> not a fan. Um, <laughs> but would you like me to film you having a look around, love? Because let's face it, nobody wants to look at me. <laughs> I'm not sure they want to look at me either. Well, we'll have, I don't know. Where do you want to start, my dear? Well, OK, well, I guess the best thing I could do is probably compare this one to PPW, really. Yeah, sure. Um, I love the colour underneath all this. What the, which this, colour is it, This dear? dust. Well, the, the grey, I think it's quite lovely, actually. Yeah, it is. A uh, lovely period colour. Um, so that's fantastic. Um, she doesn't look as spotty, rusty no. as PPW. And it's because you said that this um, PPW was kept in an open barn, wasn't she? Yeah, I don't and think there was a door on that one from the photos right. we've seen. Yeah. And this one was in an enclosed yeah. barn. So that's obviously done the paintwork some favours. But yeah, just looking at it, I can see here that the wheel trims are different. Mm. And so this is a later one as well, isn't it, I think? The we PPW. think so. We think 56, possibly sort of mid tail end of summer, 56. But there yeah. are some things we need to check. Yes. And this is where those brilliant guys at the... Yeah, um, the club will help Honestly, us they're, they're, like, they're like an encyclopedia of these things. Yeah. And you guys in the comments as well. Absolutely, where a lot of them Absolutely. hide out. <laughs> so let's just come and have a look here, because I can't help but notice... Oh, right. um, that there's been just a little ding. So now I understand from you that the story behind this car was that it had a bit of a crash, I didn't think, it? No, well, no, I don't think that's to do with the crash. Oh, OK. So... Do you think that's just in the barn or being... Yeah, what, what happened? That's an agricultural ding. Oh, right, OK. Um, I believe it happened when it was... Poss possibly when it was being moved into the barn it was in. Oh, right. It caught on the side of another barn. Oh, OK. I'm going to, at some point, show you underneath there. Yeah. I've got a feeling I know how it was moved when it was last moved. I don't know if it was driven there. Oh, OK. I could be wrong. Oh, but OK. But there's, there's something very odd underneath this car, which we will show later. Ah, OK. Awesome. I mean, could we, could we bang those out relatively easily? Because these you, are quite solid steel, aren't why they? Why would you do that? I don't know, to make her look pretty. Don't you think that we should all show our scars of ageing <laughs> with pride my dear well i guess so you want I to put some so. lipstick on her don't you yeah probably <laughs> okay let's look around the back okay so i can see that she's got a little the fuel caps missing yeah that could cause us issues and does the boot open on this one or are we going to have another no have a look aha uh -huh. So ah, now what's interesting, I've noticed. Let me have a look. Our earlier, our PPW. All right. This is all solid here. You can't get through, can you, from the inside? But that's no. different. That's got like a little hatch or what's that called? Rotodip hole. Oh, OK, rotodip hole. So, um, no, we didn't have that in the early one because a lot of no. people commented that we should, um, you know, take that off and pop our hands through to get in the boot. Mm. And I'm like, we can't. And I didn't realise, but in the later ones... I've got some arch nemesis cobwebs in here for me to deal with again. Um, as a Bartman Turner and Overdrive would say, love, you <laughs> yeah. ain't seen nothing yet. Oh, God, OK. <laughs> so I can see here they've got one of those jacks again in here, the same as they had in PPW. Oh, yeah. That's right. I can't see, and I haven't seen yet, but I haven't gone through this car properly. Hmm. Um, I haven't seen a starting handle yet, because that also no. formed the lid for the jack, didn't it? Oh, let me put that down there. Something else is missing there. We've also got a box of stuff. She ignores me, doesn't she? Something else is missing there, love. Look, you're straight for the knickknacks. What's missing? What did you just put down? The tyre. Yeah, what's normally in the middle of a tyre? <laughs> a wheel. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so We have tyre but no wheel. It's a Goodyear tyre as well, look at that. Yeah. Anyway, Excellent. you found your box of knickknacks. Look. Yeah, I can see there's already here a door. I can't really keep this open at the moment. No, door, because do, if door you look handle. to your right, Claire, mm. the hinge thing is the same as on the other one. That's broken there Oh, yes, well. yeah. So, Not to worry. That's... Anyway, what's in the box? I'm oh, sorry, I'll keep interrupting you. Um, well, I can't really look, to be fair. Let but... me hold that. There you go. Oh, here's my chance. Hang on, let me show everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I slam the lid on Claire? No, it's Christmas. <laughs> oh, well, I've got... Look. No idea what these things are. Just, um, can I have a little look at that box that you've got in your hand? That yeah, looks cool. but it's That's got proper, nothing in it. No, but it's a proper period box, isn't it? I love... That will probably end up on the shelf in the, warehouse, uh, the, warehouse, in the 
workshop somewhere. Yeah, that's pretty. Nice that's BMC cool. box yeah. there. Yeah, there's a few bits and pieces there to have a look at. Okay. So, oh, we should investigate those. Is that a wiper motor or something in the bottom there? Um, I'll tell you what is down there, Claire. Mm -hmm. Lift, pop your um, tire up again. What's been living down there then? To your left, dear. Oh, mices. Yes, mices. Mices. They are the bane of the car storage world. <laughs> they sure are. Right, so, let's pop it down. That's good, day. Eh? Yeah, I've got a feeling when we come to do starting it because I like to try and start it off the tank again, like we did with the other one. But we are going to have issues because I would, if I was a mouse. Mm. I would like to live in there. Yes. So I suspect we're going to find all sorts in there. Okay, a chrome bumper in pretty similar condition to PPW as well, looking at that. Yeah. Yeah. Right, let's walk around here. And yeah, the window rubbers. What quite, are they like? Quite perished. Okay. On this, this rear one. Right. Um, but that's not a huge problem. Yeah, she looks, she looks good. We've got trafficators. Yeah, but it's also got indicators, so they'll, pro they'll be um, disabled. Yeah. Which just brings me to another point. Did you see the sticker in the back? Yeah. <laughs> now, I asked the lady when we picked this up yeah. whether her friend was, in fact, disabled. And she said, no, that was just in there when she got the car. She just oh, left it in there. she's just kept it. A bit like us, kind of <laughs> like leave everything in there. What yeah. I did notice, it's a bit hard for us because the car is stuck in the workshop and we don't want to push it out today. For anyone watching, the passenger door does also have a dent in it. Oh, right, OK. So um, we'll have a look at that at some point. Again, yeah. probably that could actually be something to do with when the car was originally um, purchased. Yeah. Because I don't know if I covered it in my intro. It was all such a busy day when we extracted this yes. car. Yes, yeah, it was. But basically somebody had sort of crashed this through a... Um, a farmer's fence in, down an embankment into a field mm. um, it wasn't worth much money it couldn't be bothered to um, with all the hassle of paying and getting it extracted yeah. so the last owner of this vehicle bought it for the princely sum of two pounds mm. took the fence down the other side of the field and drove it home <laughs> so bargain <Yeah. laughs> anyway cracking on well I thought you were going to show the anomaly underneath I will do that in a moment, and um, you can tag that bit on here, love. Let's look under the bonnet and then we'll do inside. So one thing I've noticed instantly is that we have an air horn. We <laughs> <It> do. <is. laughs> and, um, That's I'll, awesome. I'll quickly pop this under here, but I'm sure you'll get a better shot for the benefit of the, uh, the viewers. Looks like yeah. we had a girl racer on our hands. Yeah, <laughs> it does. And so obviously this is all looking pretty similar, but this isn't a gold seal engine. I have no idea I'm at guessing, the moment. I'm guessing, or we're we not sure. I have no, I haven't delved properly into the engine bay. What I did notice, I tried quickly to look just down where your hand is. Yeah, there's something there, no, it's a plate or something. The plate would normally be here. Right. But I can't oh, okay. see a plate there at the moment. No. That looks smooth to me. So I will investigate further. Um, it's got, yeah, pretty much looks similar to the other one. Yeah, air, air filter looks the same. We've got a heater. Yeah. It's got all the ducting. That's a real bonus yeah. because we were told that, you know, obviously that's it's sort of to this vehicle and it's quite hard to get hold of oh okay so that's the result isn't it yeah what i'd like to do is um obviously i'm i'm doing as much filming of under the bonnet as i can claire because the guys who know these and it's not just the guys in the club there's lots of people around the world who, who know they'll be looking at this now and pausing it <laughs> and telling me yeah. all the little bits and pieces that uh have been changed uh are right and wrong that is a flasher thing up there look yeah, so this, this is a Coventry radiator. Haven't we got that in either PPW or the black one? Because I recognise that. I think the black one. OK. But I'm going to be corrected. One thing I did notice, actually, I'm mm -hmm. just going to, before we go inside, because we don't need to hang around under here too long, the, um, the air filter is in the right place, isn't it? Yeah. I'm trying to film and touch here. But look at that hose. That's completely... I know it's only a breather. 
Yeah. But nothing's going to breathe through that. No. It? That's going to be fairly asthmatic there. Yeah, so we'll have to look at, take a look at that, won't we? We've got the, the VIN plate is there, but that may be causing some confusion, I'm told. Okay. Because possibly should, should have been located elsewhere. No, all right. You'll notice when you go inside, that it's all mod cons, Claire. And I mean, Ooh. this one has all the trimmings. Oof. Go on, let's, let's get you go. in there. Right, well, let's have a look inside. Oh, okay. There's quite a lot of cobwebs in there. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Is there any chance I can have a dustpan and brush just to brush out the worst? I've got somewhere to sit down. <laughs> Cut. Blow me down with a feather. He's actually being a gentleman and sweeping the seat for me. <laughs> what's, Wonders will never cease. What's coming up in a few days, love? Oh yeah, Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> right, so now I'm going to get absolutely filthy. But that's come in and have a look. Oh, I love it when you take one for the team. <laughs> I do. Do you know what? First thing actually before I get in that I notice is the colours going on. So we've got green door cards and I think these ones look like they should slot into the bottom. Absolutely. But PPWs don't, they just, because it's an early one, it just flaps around at the bottom a bit. Yep. Um, hang on a minute, that's interesting. So this one is green and the rest are sort of either burgundy or tan, I can't tell. Are they? Yes. Um, so I don't quite know what's happened on there. It's obviously had a replacement at some point. Right, I haven't even colour. noticed that. So yeah, well, there you go. I can't wait to get in now. Yeah, and the seats, like I say, they, again, it's hard. To, they kind of look burgundy, reddish to me. So it'd be lovely to see what colour they come up when I've given them a bit of a clean. See this red piping here? Yeah. So yeah, more. lovely, lovely colours. Are they original? Can anyone let us know? What was the original, the tan or the green? So, wow. Oh, there's, there's really quite a lot of cobwebs in this one. I think more than PPW, but... Can I just say one thing? Yeah. Don't turn around. Oh, God. Okay, I won't. Anyway, let's get going, <laughs> shall we? So... First thing I've noticed, I see what you mean now about the mod cons. Yeah. Because we have a radio. Yeah, we sure do. This is excellent. So it's an Oscar solid state radio. We've got medium wave and long wave. So that's fantastic. And we've got this, these switches here. I've, got, I've not seen this before. No, that, that's been put on afterwards, hasn't it? Yeah. I don't know what that connection there looks a bit like a headphone jack. Oh, I can't wait I'm to... sure it's not, but the next, um, the next is video, that a little bulb there, a little indicator light of some kind? Well, the next video, Claire, we'll have to... Um, we're going to stick a battery on, aren't we? Yeah. And try and see what, what of this stuff works. What have you found there? Oh, it's just a, a clothing label here for Acroban Acrylic Fibre by Monsanto. I wonder if they still exist. Yeah. Price paid £3.47. So that's post 71 then. Yeah, that's interesting. We've got some coins as you would expect, but these are old tempies. Right. So Shall they're we... the big tempies. We've got some biros. I won't waddle around with that too much. What have we got here? Shall we um, do that thing where we put the tempe in a load of coke or something and see if we can get it cleaned up and try <laughs> yeah. and find a date? Yeah, that would be quite fun. So what's that? Ah, we've got the installation instructions for the radio. Oh, well. So that's kind of cool. The Oscar Radio Company. Yeah. Has anyone remember those or heard of them in the comments? Yeah, hey, I wonder be... where you bought them from. Yeah. What's that? There's a clipping here of Goodwin's Farmers Relief Service. Is it? been cut out for that or was it just happened to be there what's on the other side what's that then Meetings for Villiers Industrial Limited don't know whether that's just a bit that's fallen off a of paper or whether that, yeah. that was there for a reason hard to tell they have a great dashboard these things don't they like for putting stuff like pens and things yeah no ample space I'll tell you what else is different here is there's a little ashtray with cigarette butts in it. Oh, <laughs> seriously? Seriously, look. The revolving 
fag tray there. Awesome. That's not on PPW, is it? And the mileage I know is 70,415. We have a packet of <laughs> a crisp wrapper here. Let's see if anyone remembers these. Smith's crisps. Well, of course they do. Still buy Smith's crisps, can't you? Yeah. World Wildlife Awards salt and vinegar flavour. I wonder if it's got an expiry date on it. <laughs> I'd like to think so. Oh, offer closes 31st of October 1974. Okay. So that gives us a bit of, because there was a little competition that you could enter on this one. And if we missed a, missed a date then? We yeah. have missed the deadline, Ma maths sadly. Maths isn't my bag, love. No, no. <laughs> so that's cool. Yeah, lovely. Keep I, that, I think. I'm just looking down there. I have noticed as well. It's, you, you've got the obligatory bit of Axminster or something on the floor there, haven't you? Yeah, there's a nice carpet rug. That was really a thing, wasn't it? Yeah, we've got no mats or anything in the, in the front here. And I have to say, it's, dare I say, it's looking pretty solid. Okay. Actually under there, which is, which is good to see. We've got a gasket here. Oh, actually, that looks quite nice. Yes. Um... <laughs> It's a bit worrying when you see a head gasket set in a car. Yeah, it could be, couldn't it? Um, but no, in all joking aside, Claire. Got a wiper blade as well. Which looks like Unipart. Yep, which is good. Who remembers Unipart? Especially, you know, for the old Austin Rover, British Leyland stuff. Yeah. That looks familiar. Yes. <laughs> oh, wow, that's quite handy as well. Yeah, no, absolutely. And, oh, here we go. What have we got there? Ah, starting to build up a collection we are. of parts. That is genuinely quite handy. I'm going to go through all those at some point and put them with our other spares because it does look like we're becoming a bit of a hub for the old Austin A30, doesn't it? Yeah, there's, there's just lots of them. Um... Yeah, they're handy. There's, yeah. One, there's one missing actually on the front. Oh, right, okay. Obviously, they were like an aftermarket thing because it's still got the traffic haters. And I noticed as well, this has got the really long gear stick as well, like PPW. Okay, and have we got the right... I don't even know if that one's got the right... The right knob on it. No, <laughs> you guys will tell me whether... Let me just zoom in for... on there. I know it should have been a mushroom one, I think, on um, PPW. I don't know if they changed it, whether that's just had a, a later one put on as well. You can tell, let's look at that windscreen. You can see where I tried to clear it a little bit on the left yeah. to get some footage if it was being dragged <laughs> out. But that is, for anyone watching, what a proper barn fine yes. car looks like. <laughs> Indeed, and I'm already covered. Right, OK, let's have a look in the back, shall we? Right, let's check out the... Oh, God, look at those cobwebs, Helen. <laughs> You're not going to get in the oh back, are you? Oh, my God. Look, our beloved viewers, subscribers, <laughs> the lengths I will go to. Now, this, this is cool. So this is a an original can of touch-up paint. OK. And it says Austin Morris Tweed Grey. Which would be right for this car, then. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, that's quite handy. I don't think it's going to work. No, it makes an interesting noise when you shake it. But that's cute, isn't it? It'd be nice if we could clean that up so we can actually see it. Right, we have a magazine. Okay. Mind and body. Oh, mm. Sounds right up your strata. Yeah, 24p. If anyone remembers that publication. Um, just some rubbish there. Ah, oh, an AA member's handbook. Has that got a year on it? Yeah, 1972 to 1973. Right, so we're starting to get... Um, Getting a picture build, building up, aren't we? Of the year. We had 74 on that competition, didn't we? Yeah. 72, 73 there. Oh, this will help me out with the cobwebs, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> Either that or with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. And um, God, bet Lynch would be proud. Look at this cushion. Wow. That's epic, isn't it? We like bet that. Bet Lynch, there's a blast from the past, love. Yeah. Bit of Coro. If you remember her, you're probably a similar age to us. Yeah. I can see some interesting. What's that? That looks like it would have been a chalk ice or something. Walls, golden oh. something. Okay. Maybe does, it's a Willy Wonka bar. Does anyone know in the comments? <laughs> or do we get a 
get a clue with this bit here. You really love this, don't you? Well, I just, I love the time warp stuff. It's I'll like, be honest. It's like going back in time a bit for me. Oh, golden vanilla. Golden vanilla. Chock bar. Yeah. So it would have been like a chock ice, I reckon, or something like that. Lovely. Awesome. <gasps> oh, look at that tin. Yeah, so this is... Oh, and the box. Yeah, look at that. So car plan, pre-mix filler paste. Honestly, that I'm keeping that totally. Complete I love Complete car body dent repair kit. So we've actually got the tin there, look. Yeah. And we've got... That's, that's, that's another not part of the kit. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's another switch. There's like a little sander, sandpaper. Is that still in there? Yep. That's been used. Obviously, yeah. We've got a tube of... The hardener. Premix hardener. Giggity. We've got some instructions and wow. some gauze or whatever you'd call that. Yeah, that'll have a date on as well then. And the remains of a mouse house as well. Yes. yes. So that's that's all pretty cool, isn't it? A few little treasures there. And then we've just got, I think, some pairs of gardening gloves. They look like they've been put And in. a speaker on the back parcel shelf, presumably, oh, for the radio. Yeah. Which is excellent. Yeah. Okay, we, um, what the heck? Oh. <laughs> Arthur Spoon. <laughs> Arthur Spoon. Anyone remember him? He was great on the West End. <laughs> he was good old Arthur. <laughs> Arthur Spoon. Um, yeah, there's not a lot more to see there, but that gives everyone a great view of the back of the car. Actually, yeah. it doesn't look really worn at all, does it? Well, I reckon that'll clean up beautifully. I hope so. That's your job over Christmas. Yeah, it's going to be a Christmas job, isn't it? The headlining's ripped in place. Is again, I, I think that might be. I don't know whether that'd be mouse because that looks quite a tear over in that corner. And you've got one mm. above your head. Look at me, smile. Yep. <laughs> You're on camera. Yeah, I'm finding it a bit hard to smile in between the dead spiders oh. and cobwebs. Can I put this seat well, down? You take Arthur. Let me put and then this I'll let seat you down. Go. Look, there you yeah, go. Let me put this There's seat no reason down. for me to give you up. I just want it to be awkward. <laughs> yeah, I know. You're good at that. So, Oof. where are you? So, what do you reckon? You've Overall, I'm delighted. And thank you so much to the vendor. Um, because um, I'm really glad that they thought of us. Um, um, can I just give her a home. fill you in there, Claire? Yeah. I've zoomed in. Yeah. It was you. He was thinking of. Oh. So the vendor was a lovely, lovely man. Um, he had seen our previous video with PPW. Yeah. He loved your reaction and the oh. way you loved that car. Oh gosh. He <laughs> said that he just doesn't have the time right. to do this car justice, get it back on the road or do anything with, with it. it. He wanted it to go to the right people to do oh. that. Um, oh, that's made me feel quite emotional. So he got in touch with us. <laughs> Thank you so much. And we'll try and do... Well, we don't know what we're going to do yet, do we? We'll have well, a little talk about that in a moment, shall we? Yeah. So there you have it. You've had a barn find extraction and a walk around with the glamorous Claire. <laughs> He's now covered in muck. We are really spoiling you. No, <laughs> no, thank you. Thank you so much for all the comments yeah. Um, all the likes, all the shares. We are still trying to get this YouTube thing going. I want to do things like this all the time. So if, you're, if you've got a barn fine car, if you've got anything of interest, if you want to sell it, if you want us to video it, if we can just chat about it, mm. we'd love to do it, wouldn't we? We would. Um, uh and also the comments, the likes, the shares. If you haven't got a barn fine car, they help just as much. So don't think you're not helping. Yeah, absolutely. And so in terms of next steps for this little car, I'm itching to start cleaning the interior. You're going to probably do that after you've done the Christmas shopping, aren't you, love? Yes, which I, <laughs> which I really must do now. Um, and then I hope to have a little go at getting it started. No promises, but we had a bit of luck with this one. But our luck's got to run out one day. Yeah, it? So, so we're quite prepared for that, but we, you know, we love taking you along with the journey and I think people appreciate the fact that we're not some trained mechanics or professionals in that regard. We are just enthusiastic amateurs. We're going to give it a go and in, in the new year we'll show you how far we've got. Yeah. But in the meantime, Merry Christmas. 
and a happy new year. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.